Homeostasis is a process which allows our bodies to detect changes in the external environment and respond to these changes, counteracting them so that the enzymes in our body are kept at a stable state in terms of temperature, pH, and a number of different factors. Essentially what happens during homeostasis is our body is at a stable state and any change to the external environment is detected by our senses. These sensors then move to a control center, which works to counteract that change through effectors. I'm gonna use an example to illustrate how this works. So the example I'm gonna talk about is changes to body temperature and how our bodies work to counteract this. So imagine that we have an increase in temperature. Our sensors in our skin are our thermoreceptors and these are going to detect such a change. This change is passed from your senses through the nervous system to your control center, which is in your brain, so the central nervous system. In this case, we're talking specifically about the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus computes this change and then enacts responses, which are enacted through effectors. Effectors in this case include things like vasodilation, sweating, and reduced metabolism. In a similar way, when the temperature drops, we have our sensors, passing signals to our control center, and then inducing counteractive changes to modulate this decrease in temperature. So for example, vasoconstriction, shivering, and increased metabolism. We can therefore see how our body works to counteract the changes to our environment to keep our internal environment consistent. And this allows for all of our bodily systems to work properly. And this is really important for understanding our body's response to non-infectious diseases. Thanks for listening guys. And in the next video, I'm gonna be talking about epidemiology.